what kind of skill do you really need to become a software engineer? How to become a software engineer? Does today formal education still play a significant role of becoming a software engineer? I mean, there is a lot of questions and today I'm going to try to give a response to all of these kind of questions based on my own experience and also people around me, people who I'm working with. Um, ah, first of all, hey everyone, my name is Fabrice Omsa. I'm software engineer, full stack, web and also mobile developer. I mean, the channel name is Flutter Guy. So I'm working with Flutter also as mobile developer. And today I'm going to try to give a response to that question, how to become a software engineer. For people who really like degrees, I mean, I got my master degree two years ago now, but um, is it the only thing that make me a software engineer? No, I don't think so. Um, you, you, you can't not go to school and be a good software engineer. I mean, I, I know a lot of people who are good software engineer without um, having a diploma or certificate, for example, but we will see later when we are going to talk about the um, qualification you need to have in order to become a software engineer. So um, before talking about my school curriculum, let's just try to define what is to being a software engineer. So if you just tap the keyword software engineer or you Google it directly on internet, you are going to have a multiple response, for example, and people sometimes try to find things for the definition of being a good software engineer. But for me, um, a good software engineer is someone who has the role to design and to develop tools, for example. I mean, there is a lot of tools you can you can have like computer game, for example, uh, business application, operating system, um, network control system, whatever you want. But the most important for me is to find a problem and try to find a solution for that problem. One or more solution, it really depends on your skills. But um, yeah, find just a problem, try to resolve it by using i don't know tools or especially like programming language and this is the huge difference between someone who is good software engineer and someone who just like um code for example because you can um know like a good coder someone who have um i, I can say hard skill for example to code in every language but without having a um, good skill for understand the needs of the customer and try to just give their simple solution as possible. Yeah. Yeah, now let's talk about my school curriculum. First of all, you need to know that I'm Togolese and um, I came to study in France. So currently I'm, I have been living in France since five or six years, I didn't remember, but um, yeah. So I spent almost five years um, at college learning how to become a software engineer. I went to different school, so this is not a partnership, so never mind if I got a school name. So the, the first one was Superinfo, yeah, and the second one was Epitech. So I have spent almost five years uh, split like this, three years at the first one and two years at the second for before having my master degrees. So um, during the first three years at the Superinfo, uh, which is one of the tech school there uh, yeah, in France. So du during these first three years, I have learned a lot. So all the basics um, like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, algorithmic and all that stuff, you know, but you have to notice that before coming to study and before I enter um, directly at college, I know, like I didn't know anything about programming itself, about tech in general. And yeah, in just high school, I was like someone who really liked to play and sometimes also play games. So yeah, basically this is uh, who I was, but never mind. So the, the most important um, during the three years um, wasn't really what I just learned at school, but it was very um, what I learned from different companies and different people around me. So I, I began, for example, with my first experience. These are going to sound like a bit weird, but my first experience was with WordPress. And also I work as um, a record video and editor. I mean, some people can say, but 
this doesn't make you a software engineer but i mean <laughs> you are watching like youtube channels so you can understand that it helped me in some part so th the second experience was uh, more technical because I work with uh, some tech entrepreneur who want to build some kind of Uber, but just for food truck, for example. So um, I work with um, this person uh, using Node.js for backend and Angular, and those was my first experience, for example. So what I want to tell you is like going to school this is good but going to school and trying to having your own experience based on personal projects working with people uh, making different alternatives those kind of um of things are going to help you to grow faster than just going to school and trying just to read one or two book per, per weeks for example it is very important to practice when you are in the tech ecosystem also to read yeah you know and um then uh, i work for another company where i don't react on node.js and this was like very important because i was if i remember it was my last uh it was during the my last years at the first school you know so uh, then i start very really, like love react try to build different web app and yeah this really helped me so to create my own experience as full stack web developer and those was what i can say boost my first career in order to find another job or maybe my first job but after spending three years building different web solution i was curious about how mobile application also works so um, i start to learn for myself and this um, can tell you that uh, you can go to school but you need in tech in general to be um, to have like autodidact part and to really like to be a self learner like i really like to call it like try to learn by yourself because it is very important and um because i was curious so i start to learn react native and then flutter and <laughs> Um, just this thing, um, I fell in love with Flutter, but at the beginning it was very weird for me, you know. So now I'm working as mobile developer, but uh, after I spent three years at the first school, then I came because I was living in another cities. When I came to Paris uh, for my master degrees, uh, I have spent two years there working as mobile developer. But um, how did I found this job? Um, before working directly in Paris. It was because I was working on different personal projects. I was sharing it online, especially on LinkedIn. Also, I was writing some article on Medium. And yeah, one day I was just contact directly. I mean, I received a message in my DM was saying that I found your profile interesting. Um, uh, do you want to have an interview with us? And I was like, yes, why not? And what I want to tell you is um, sometimes when you are sharing content or when you are working on a personal project, don't hesitate to share it online because even if you are not going uh, to have like, uh, I don't know, thousands of likes, uh, it doesn't mean anyone are watching what you are doing you know so you, you need to continue and yeah it's are going to pay so uh, just little disclaimer don't forget to add a like and to subscribe <laughs> so um after spending uh, three years at the first school and two years at the second uh i got my my, my master degree so now i'm working as mobile developer from blockchain company and yeah i'm I'm doing like a lot of mobile uh, stuff, like creating yeah mobile application for them. But I'm also working as full stack web for them. So because we got different module um, in this company. So um, in the resume, what I really want you to understand is going to school is good. I mean, if you can, if you have money and you want to go to uh, at college and learn. That is okay. I mean, you are going to learn all the basics, basic you want um, of becoming software engineer, but this is not enough if you want to become a good software engineer. The most important um, is to learn how to be um, a self-taught. 
like and this is an important skill and you are not going to learn it maybe directly in school but in the life in general when you are going to launch your own project uh, if you got some i don't know you can have some idea and ask yourself can i do this don't hesitate just try to i mean nowadays you got all information online with only with google youtube and other media you can have whatever you want or clone other projects try to learn from them so you you have to, yeah and i think the only thing you want i want you to remember after this video is you need to learn how to learn and this is the most important in the tech in general because everything is going like very fast you can just i don't know you can sleep and wake up one or two months later and see that uh i don't know uh one framework or your framework has been um yeah has been already old so you, you need to change and to use another framework so um, the most important in the tech is to learn how to learn and this is most important skill you know that's all the most important advice that I, I can give you so um it is also important to work on some personal project because like i was mentioned um my current job um i didn't find them they find me because i was sharing um some project that i was working on online so um also i think a lot of developer uh, or a lot of software engineer have already tried to launch the future unicorn thinking that you can just becoming a billionaire after you just finish your master degrees but this is very funny if i maybe have a time during the edit of this video i will put you some project that i have already working on bonjour à tous vous êtes élèves commerçants marchands petites moyennes et grandes entreprises vous en ligne qui vous offre une large gamme d'articles une fois téléchargé il vous suffit donc de vous connecter et ensuite vous ouvrez à pour vision de se dire nous en tant que Wilfrier plateforme nous allons mettre en communication les différents fournisseurs ça veut dire que ces entreprises sur l'anglais publié prendre une ou plusieurs photos de vos articles thinking like yeah i will become uh, i don't know billionaire directly so <laughs> I, i didn't succeed but I, i have learned a lot and i think this is very important because you can just put it also in your cv if you want so yeah how to find a job i think this is one of the question that everyone want the response but there is not universal response uh, even if you are noobs beginner intermediate junior or even if you are senior or so uh, sometimes you can apply for some jobs and just get rejected not because you didn't have enough experience but yeah there is <laughs> when you apply for some job you know there is more than 100 200 300 person maybe 1000 sometimes so um it's really depend on your skill but um the most important um just le let me share this with you when i was looking for my um first job as blockchain developer uh, i was looking for some thing um where i can work in blockchain ecosystem and still work mm -hmm. as blockchain developer sorry for the notification um So uh, I start sharing content and article talking about blockchain stuff, uh, making open source project that I put on GitHub. And uh, later I was just contact by the CEO of my current job, you know, and uh, it was a pleasure. But before that, I have already, um, I had already applied to different job but i didn't get the response so i think the most important is um to continue to work on yourself and try to create not only the content yeah like i i don't ask you to create a youtube channel but you can share content you can share an article you can make contribution open source and to work on your um on your own skill you know and that is the most important and um, yeah I think we if you got some question don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and if you like the video you can just and uh, subscribe to the channel if, uh, if you need or if you want and this is one of the formats i was thinking for this new year you were thinking of 
this format, like talking about some kind of subject and also continue to share content about Flutter because it is the main activity on these channels. And I hope you really like it. If yes, then see you for the next episode. Thanks.